Harper, live now in Bowley's quarters with condition, conditions there in eastern Baltimore County, Jeff, an area that we know floods often. Well, Kelly, you know, tidal surge is the big concern here in Bowley's quarters because it's not just really the rain that's been going on all day or the gusting winds, but that combination and the tide is now starting to come in. One of the firefighters here at Bully Quarters Volunteer Fire Department just showed us a picture in her backyard here along the coast where the waters already come up to the deck. It's just a matter of how much flooding and with high tide still an hour away, it's white knuckle time here as people continue to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Two decades have passed since Isabel decimated the waterfront community of Bully's Quarters. And Ron Hogue says after that once-in-a-lifetime storm, he won't be getting much sleep tonight, just in case there could be a second one. I'll be up and I'll be watching. And plus, I got the garage. It went in the garage bef uh, before, and it, that's a mess. It, it just, you just, there's a lot of work to do before it even starts a raining. Here at the Volunteer Fire Company, work began two days ago to prepare for the storm and its potential impacts. We're closely monitoring the weather. Uh, at this point, it's hard to say as the storm progresses, it could speed up, it could slow down. We're thinking some of the greater impact would happen late afternoon into the evening and maybe even early hours of the morning. We're trying to monitor the winds in conjunction with the tides. And if everything aligns, it could be fairly catastrophic. But if everything goes in separate ways and the winds change direction and the tides going out, then we don't have much to worry about at that point. Now, the chief is urging people to remain vigilant. He says they should be listening for emergency orders and updates coming from emergency management and Baltimore County government, as well as listening for their telephone to ring should any evacuation become necessary. Reporting live in Bully's Quarters, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News. All right.